Hey, in this tutorial, we will be learning about the helper commands that we can use in FFMPG. So, using few helper options, we can list down the filters available, codecs, decoders, encoders, and the available formats that are available and supported by FFMPG. So, let's see this in action. First, uh, we are going to test the bitstream filters here using the command bsfs. So I'm going to go into terminal and I'm going to execute that command ffmpeg minus bsfs enter. So you can see the list of bitstream filters that are available. So there is AAC advanced audio codec and there are a ton of uh, bitstream filters h264 h264 mp4 to annex bitstream filter hvc filters and many more and even the web supported filters uh, like vp8 and vp9 opus so cool uh, so these are the list of uh, bitstream filters that ffmpeg supports currently now let's move on to the next command which is uh, codex list down the codex we will use the option minus codex uh, with ffmpeg command so i'm going to go to the terminal and uh, I'm going to type ffmpeg minus codex. codex. So as you can see, it's a very big list that uh, rolled out now, which uh, ffmpeg supports. So let's see quite uh, important ones. So here is the VP family, uh, which we major majorly use in the web. VP8 and VP9. VP7, I don't think anyone using now so there is a uh, webm files encoding a file and also there are there are a ton of uh, encoders so we also have a popular h264 encoder too so i can go through this list uh, it's a quite big list cool so I'm going to just clear the screen now so let's go to the next helper command uh, listing out the decoders so using the option minus decoders we can list down all the decoders that ffmpg supports i'm going back to my terminal and go ahead and type fmp et decoders even it's it's also a, quite a big list yeah even the decoders uh, we can see there's mp3 ALS, the popular opus format and also we should see the yeah here is the YUV4 popular format available too and also the dominating AAC advanced audio codec which will be used with H264 cool. and also we have support to GPU uh, libraries also uh, as you can see there is NVIDIA NVIDIA COVID V9 VP9 decoder for uh, decoding the web based codecs and also M NVIDIA and in the recent recent versions of FFMPG they've added support to AMD uh, like so AMD decoders too which enable hardware acceleration and there is a one more uh, decoder Intel QuickSync video acceleration, which is a dominating decoder, which is used in uh, used for capturing screens, or if you want to capture a capture your screen, you can see this in Bandicam software too. Uh, Intel Quick uh, Sync video acceleration. I'm just going to show you now. So in the settings, you can see there is a Intel Quick Sync uh, option available. So it's a decoder that's available for us so that's a there is actually a ton of uh, decoders in this list so i believe that there is uh, fmpg supports almost all type of decoders and encoders out there because this is primarily a powerful uh, multimedia toolkit library cool now uh, let's move on to the next uh, command in our list which is uh, fetching the list of filters available Okay, so 
okay let's go to encoders next uh, i don't think we have covered encoders yes so i'm just going to go to encoders see the list of encoders available so even this is also a big list yeah we have a big list of uh, encoders here cool so we are here and move on to the next list that is uh, listing out all the filters available and are supported by FFMPEG. So FFMPEG minus filter. So the list goes on and there is a very big list than encoders and decoders. So there is a popular noise filter available. There are a ton of filters. Uh, we are going to look at some of these filters in our next tutorials, uh, upcoming tutorials and uh, uh, we will come to know what uh, there are a ton of filters out there and now let's move on to the next uh, in the list which is available form which is available formats uh, formats refers to multimedia formats like MT, mp4, mkv and uh, mp3 formats so the formats that ffmpeg supports the format of files so i'm going to go ahead and uh, give the option for ffmpeg it's formats here yeah, formats it's plural so there are ton of formats available and yeah so here is uh, the list of formats let's try to find mp4 so here is the mp4 popular mp4 format that we use and also there is formats like H.264 and H.264 RAW, H.264 video format. Even RAW uh, encoded video format is supported by FFMPEG. Cool. Now let's go on to the next in our list. Available layouts for audio channels. So I'm going to go ahead and FFMPEG minus layouts. So here are the layouts that are available so mono that is single channel stereo two channels that is uh, face center face left face right and there are a ton of uh, other uh, channel standard channels available and there is uh, also an octagonal channel cool that's uh, that's really a big thing and uh, we're not going to use it because i don't have enough hardware to demonstrate this octagonal channel uh, layout so we will be basically testing out these two mono and stereo types if possible i might show you this quad uh, by hooking up some settings on my laptop cool so that's the end of our list so go through the list and try to find some of the codecs that you use in your normal day and do some research on this so we will be uh, i'll be meeting you in the next tutorial where we'll start with uh, analyzing bit rates and the properties of a video like uh, what are the properties of a good video like high bit rate and what are this uh, bit rate means so thank you and see you in the next tutorial